My first job was at a country club back home, and I started busting tables there. But once in a while, they'd have me like help out behind the bar, like get stuff. And that's where I found that I liked being behind the bar. It was kind of a cool place, and all the bartenders were really cool, and they helped me out and teach me stuff. So that's where I first started learning like the basic stuff. And then back home, I, I make stuff for my parents. Yeah, I thought it was really fun, and then I just asked to get behind the bar a little more at my job. So most states, you actually only have to be 18 to, to work at a bar. Usually you take a class where you get your certification, where they teach you like, like etiquette, making drinks, of course, how to make sure people drink responsibly, like what to feed them while they're drinking so they don't go overboard, and how to like mediate any problems that you might have at a bar. There's like base ingredients that you use with pretty much every drink, like simple syrup, which is just like sugar water. Citrus juices are always very universal in making drinks. And it's really when you get to like more advanced expensive stuff is when it gets complicated. The country club, they love their like fancy liqueurs and all that stuff, so that's when it gets complicated. The old ladies love their cosmopolitans. There would be like a group of 20, 80 year old ladies come in and just get really drunk off cosmopolitans, which is always really funny, especially at the country club, because it's a lot of, it's a lot of funky people. I and mean, the old men love the old fashions, which is a classic drink. Bourbon, bitters, and sugar. That's like one, that's like the oldest cocktail that there is. The Tom Collins, Tom Collins is very easy. It's just lemon juice, gin, and simple syrup. That's like the base. You can do a lot of variations on it. You put the ingredients in a, in a shaker and shake it up with ice, and then you top it off with club soda. That's my favorite one, because it always tastes good. Everyone loves that one. A martini, of course. I'm not a big fan of martini, but they love it there. That's just gin and dry vermouth. Dry vermouth is a aromatized wine. So it's like some fancy wine. It, I don't think it tastes very good. I like making stuff for my friends. I think that food and drink is a great way to bring people together. And like it's always a crowd pleaser just to like make a drink for your friends and just hang out. Of course, not with large gatherings, just with like one or two, one or two friends. But yeah, it's a, it's a chill time. Me, yeah, I like working with my hands. So like, I like cooking, I like making drinks. And also bartending, specifically like working as a bartender. It's fun to like meet new people and talk to people. Because a lot of people come after work on a Friday night just to hang out and like watch sports and stuff, and it's fun to talk to them, get to know them. So they all live in my town, so like I'm another their kids or something, it's fun to, you know, get to, get to know people. Over the summer, this one guy comes down and he's not wearing a mask, and one of the bartenders goes up to him, he's like, oh, you gotta put on your mask. And he just goes off at the bartender. He's like, I don't have to wear a mask. You can wear a mask, but I, I refuse to wear one. It was crazy. They had to like take him out, it was, it was bad. This old lady comes in with a guy that's a lot younger than her. And like halfway through the night, they start like having a screaming match at each other, like absolutely screaming, and like, everyone's looking at them. So they had to break him up. The lady left. Found out later that the man was an escort. And, <laughs> but then later they found the guy wandering on the golf course, and they had to call the, <laughs> call the cops. Some crazy stuff does happen at this country club. It's a whole different world. It really is. People should know that food service workers are very hard workers. They very much deserve to be treated well. A lot of people. When I see people that are rude to, to their servers or their bartender, it, it breaks my heart. We go through a lot of stuff throughout the night, and uh, we love to have like, very friendly customers, cooperative customers, because we can't get everything right, and sometimes we make mistakes. So some patience is appreciated, and yeah.